the new version of Word is out. What's different? I can sum it up in three words, quick and easy. Everything is now quick and easy, thanks to this area called the ribbon that spans the top of the window. The ribbon brings the most popular commands to the forefront, saving you the trouble of hunting around for things. For example, you can cut, paste, format, align, insert a picture, and change page layout much faster than in your previous version of Word. With the ribbon, everything is just immediately available, better organized, and more efficient. Let me show you how the ribbon is organized. It has three basic components. First, there are the tabs, each one focused on a major activity area. Then, in each tab, there are these, called groups. This one is the clipboard group and this is the font group. Third, within each group, there are the commands, like bold here, or this font box here. And here's something else I've got to show you. For some commands, you can get a live preview right in the document. Here, for example, I'm not selecting these fonts yet, I'm simply pointing to them. See how the text changes in the document right away? When I see the font I want, I can select it. There. Here's another way this version of Word is organized for convenience. Popular commands show you where to find related commands. For example, let's say you want to add some expanded spacing to this text. There's no button for that immediately available. Just click the small dialog box launcher in the lower right corner of the font group and you'll see lots more font options. In the same way, some tabs appear only when you need them. For example, you saw earlier how I inserted this picture. What if I want to crop it, change its text wrap, and so on? I just select the picture, and under Picture Tools, the Format tab appears with commands for pictures. There are commands for sizing the picture, wrapping the text, and so on. When I'm done with those, I can just click away from the picture to view the other groups again. Word has other ways of showing you the commands you need when you need them. Here I'm on the Page Layout tab, changing the spacing after this paragraph, and now I need to change the font for this next line of text. I could go to the Home tab, but this is faster. I select the text, point at the selection, and the mini toolbar appears. Now I can quickly change the font. The mini toolbar is another way that Word makes things quick and easy, and it gets even better. Got a favorite command? Add it to this, the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar starts with Save, Undo, and Repeat on it. To add your favorite commands, right-click a command on the ribbon, and then choose Add to Quick Access Toolbar. There, now these commands will always be available no matter which tab I'm on. Okay, I've shown you the ribbon, the mini toolbar, and the quick access toolbar. Now let's see how everyday tasks are quick and easy in Word 2007. The place to start in Word 2007 is the Microsoft Office button. That's where you create a new document, open an existing one, and so on. On the right of the menu are the recently opened documents. I'll open one of those. There's my text, and my next step is to format it. As you've seen, Many formatting commands are on the Home tab, even features like numbering and bullets. That was fast, but this is faster. There are styles all ready for you to use. Here I'm going to apply this heading style to this text, and this one to this heading. And then I'm going to apply this other style here to these headings. Oh, and I'll make this quote stand out, like this. There. And not only do styles look good, but you can change the document's entire appearance by using this one button. Choose a simple set, a fancy one, or be distinctive. When text alone is not enough, head for the Insert tab. You can insert tables, pictures, clip art, 
shapes, smart art, and charts. For now, I'll add a header. Okay, suppose you're almost done creating a document, and now it's time for the finishing touches, like checking your spelling. Spelling is over on the Review tab, in the Proofing group. Oops, sure enough, there's a typo. The text seems to be fine now, but how does the whole page look? Time to zoom out and see. Zooming is found here, in the lower right. Slide this leftward to zoom back. Ah, yes, things look pretty good. But let's add a little more margin to the page. I'll do that on the Page Layout tab. There. And now, let's zoom back in. Okay, we're finally ready to print. But where's the Print button? It's on the menu that opens when you click the Microsoft Office button. Click the Print command, and you'll get this familiar dialog box. But if you point at the arrow next to Print, that's new. You get Quick Print and Print Preview as well. Quick Print sends your document immediately to your default printer. And Print Preview, you've no doubt used before. There you have it, Word 2007. Quick and easy. Give it a try and you'll be up to speed in no time.